Hi everyone, it's been a long time since I've done a video on YouTube. There's a few things been going on. I had a flood in my studio. I've been trying to launch an online course. A lot of things going on. I had a bit of a holiday to Bali. That was very nice. So I apologize for my time out, but it was very needed. So I'm back now. I'm not quite sure how often I'm gonna be able to do videos. Not maybe every week, we'll see. We'll see how I go. So tonight, I don't know what I'm painting. Let's see. I'll just start painting. We'll see where we go and that'll be fun. So thanks very much for your support. If you want to check out my new online course then you can up in the description up above or down the description below, check it out. Otherwise you can join me on Patreon and or just follow along to this. So let's see what we create tonight. It'll be quite fun for me to get back into the studio and paint a bit. So let's go. Let's just wet the page a bit, hey? Got a spray bottle. There's so many nice skies at the moment. In, uh, it's winter here in Sydney and the skies are just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Bring in a bit of Windsor Red. That was a bit of a mix of cobalt blue, light red, and we're just going to bring in a little bit of cerulean blue. And then let's just, a little bit weak. Bring in a little bit more dark. Get a hungry brush, just suck it up a bit here. So that was Windsor Red, then a mix of Cobalt Blue, Light Red, and then a bit of Cerulean Blue, and then a bit of Burnt Armour, and then a bit of Payne's Grey. Pretty, pretty simple colours. It's just going to bring in a little bit deeper down in here. Using a hungry sable to just lift out a bit of a light. Nice, I think I quite like this actually. It's pretty bold, but let's just dry this and then we'll see what it looks like. By the way, in the few months that I've been away, I've become blind. So I need glasses all the time, otherwise I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna lift out a bit of a light with a flat nylon. I'm not gonna use 
tape to create a super straight line because I don't think that would suit this painting. Just gonna use a tissue to wipe that out. Nice. We'll just do a little bit more of that. Just. Let's have a bit of a look at this. I'm just gonna finish drying this and then I think what I'm gonna do is make it an even sharper line on the horizon actually, now that I've seen it from a distance. So I'm just gonna use a, like a Stanley razor blade to just scrape out a light. All right, I think that's pretty much done. Let's just dry it. So I hope you enjoyed that random painting that I've produced tonight. If you liked this video, I'd really love it if you pressed like, give it the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on the videos that I produce at some stage. <laughs> Might not be every week, we'll see how I go. Uh, so, thanks very much. I hope you found it enjoyable, helpful, interesting, any of those sorts of things. And I'll see you guys in the next video that I do. And thanks for your support. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon. Good night. Oh, don't forget, if you would like some more help with your watercolor, then you can either do one of two things. You could join me on Patreon, or you could sign up to my online course. There's a watercolor landscapes for beginners course. You can check out in the link below. So thanks very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.